Hey guys, Carl Colin Dawn's Homestead. I am back. We hope everybody's having a blessed, blessed Wednesday. Um, today we're going to cook some smothered cabbage, Louisiana. Cajun style smothered cabbage, the way I do it, guys. Let me get set up. I'll be right back with you. And we're going to show you how we're going to do this. I'm going away. Y'all, today we're going to go ahead and smother some cabbage. Some good old Louisiana Cajun style smothered cabbage. Delicious. I have two heads here. Yeah, I know it's just Dawn and I, but I tell you what, it's always good the next day too. And I love cabbage in the wintertime, so this is one of my favorites. So to smother this cabbage down, we're going to go ahead and cook it down and then we're going to put some Tony Sacheries. We're going to use Tony Sacheries and minced garlic and pickled pork. Savoy's pickled pork. Some people call it Savoy's. Uh, anyway, let me get set up. We're going to go ahead and prepare this and I'll show you that in a second. Alright guys, when I uh, smother down my cabbage, I don't cook the green or outer leaves. I uh, remove those and discard them. Uh, a lot of people do and that's good too. You can if you want, but I just don't. So we take the uh, browner leaves from the inside and that's what we cook down. So um, we're going to go ahead and remove the outer leaves and then I'm going to show you how I'm going to cut this up real quick. Alright guys, real quick. This is the core of the cabbage. So what I'm going to do is show you real quick how I'm going to remove the core. I always cut my cabbage down the middle through the core. Alright, and to remove it, here you can see the core. You can just dig it out, or what I normally do is I'll go something like this and just cut it out of there. And it's gone. So there you go. We're going to remove the core from both heads of cabbage after we get them ready to uh, chop up. Core's gone. We do that with both heads. By the way, we're going to feed this, the uh, remnants to uh, Wilbert, our pig. So he loves that. Alright, and to cut it up is very simple. Now once I cut up my cabbage and get it ready to put in a pot, we're going to go ahead and rinse it, wash it real good. I never cook any food without washing it. That includes meat, vegetables, whatever. So, but to get started with cutting this, we can cut it in half and kind of just cut it as we go. Alright guys, what we're going to do is we're going to set our fire at a medium high and for now, and I know what you're thinking, that looks like a lot of cabbage. Well, once it's cooked down and breaks down while it's cooking, you'll see the difference. Uh, so we got the heat set at medium high and we're going to add for now two cups of water. And we're going to go ahead and put some Tony Chasseries now. I don't use too much. And we're going to let it cook down probably for about 30-35 minutes. And constantly stirring and mixing it up and helping that cabbage break down as it cooks. So I'll be back with you in a second. We're going to go ahead and prepare our pickled meat. 
and I'll show you that in a few minutes. I got to occasionally kind of stir it up a little bit. Mix that stuff around. Okay. I'll be back in a minute. Let's let that cook down, guys. Alright, y'all. It's been cooking down now for about 20 minutes. And what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to go ahead and add my minced garlic. So we're going to go ahead and put about a tablespoon of minced garlic. And we're going to go ahead and drop our pickle meat in there also. And we're going to let it finish cooking down for a while until things start looking good. I mean, it's looking good now. Guys, you ought to smell this. It's smelling awesome. You can hear it in a pot. So, you can hear it cooking. Guys, it's looking good. In a few minutes, it's going to start turning brown, getting softer, and meat's going to start cooking, and all that flavor is going to mix together. And I'll be back in a little bit, guys. Don't go nowhere. Alright y'all, it's been cooking down now for about 30 minutes. So what I'm going to do at this point, is I'm going to go ahead and put my lid. And we're going to let it cook more. And we'll constantly check it, stir it, and check the progress. And I'll be right back with you. Alright guys, there's the uh, finished Cajun style, my style. Louisiana Cajun smothered cabbage with pickled pork and as you know we let it cook down at the beginning for 30 minutes on medium high heat we added our pickled pork we added our Tony Sacheries then we let it cook again on probably low to medium heat for another hour and 20 minutes to get to this point so there we are it's nice and cooked a little wet and this over white rice, guys, is delicious. Give me a second. We're going to do a little taste test on this. I'll be right back. All right, guys. Do a little taste on our cabbage here. Smothered cabbage. Absolutely. This is delicious, guys. Um... Pickled pork is cooked good, everything good, smothered down, in my opinion, guys, only to perfection. This is delicious. So when Dawn gets home, we're going to go ahead and have our cabbage over rice, and um, it'll be our meal for the day. Guys, it's Carl, Carl and Dawn's Homestead. If you like our videos, guys, please give us a thumbs up and leave a comment that means a lot to us also most importantly subscribe to our channel guys that also means so much to us um, and we hope everybody's having a blessed Wednesday and we hope you guys have a fantastic week and weekend that's coming up guys this is Carl calling Dawn's Homestead until next time I'm out of here let me finish this